Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second single cell proteomics conference. The first one was last year at about the same time, and we had a lot of fun with it. There was a group of about 60 pioneers who came for the adventure, and one of the most common requests and feedback that they received from the attendees was that they would love to have a workshop. They said it's really cool to look at the data and what's possible, but we would like to learn how can we go back in our laboratories and make samples and generate data. How can we analyze these data? And that's why we decided to organize this workshop today. So today is going to be the nuts and bolts on how do you design your experiments, how do you uh, analyze the data, how do you benchmark it, how do you make sure that you don't fool yourself? Because it's easy to generate data, which doesn't mean that you necessarily quantified anything of interest or that you generated useful data that you can interpret in terms of the underlying biology. So we are going to share with you one way of doing that, mostly the way that we do it in my lab. Uh, and most of the talks are going to be from graduate students uh, in my laboratory, uh, with the important exception of uh, Sang Juan, who is a postdoc with Jorgen Cox, and he is going to tell you about their efforts to make data analysis easy, integrated within uh, Perseus, which is a wonderful extension of, of MaxQuant, uh, something, uh, a search engine. Uh, search uh, software for mass uh, spec data that many of you are probably familiar with. And I know that some of you in the audience are thinking, why the hell is he explaining Max Quant? Everybody knows Max Quant. Well, everybody who does mass spectrometry knows Max Quant, but not everybody in the audience. And that brings me to a very important question about this meeting, that it brings a very diverse group of people. Some of the attendees have never done mass spectrometry. They come from the world of measuring RNAs, world that I started my research career with and that they know and understand. Uh, some of the attendees come from uh, computational fields, and they're interested to exploit the opportunities to develop new methods to analyze the data. Uh, and therefore, one of the challenges that we have here is to succeed in making our presentations accessible to everybody, even to people with very diverse backgrounds. It's a challenge. There's no easy way of overcoming this, but we'll certainly try to do our best in, in doing that. And one of the things that I believe is going to be helpful is to have lots of time for questions. So similar to what we had last year, I have made sure to leave ample time for questions. This is not intended to be a monologue of speakers. It's intended to be a back and forth discussion. And I cannot say for every speaker definitively, I cannot make that decision, but you're certainly welcome to interrupt me at any point and ask questions. You don't, you don't have to wait for the final period of, uh, for questions, which is plenty long after every talk. There will be plenty of time during the breaks to mingle and talk with the speakers, to talk with your colleagues, attendees, and have engaging discussions. So I very much urge you, all of you, to take advantage of this and to make this a very interactive meeting based on discussion rather than be passive listeners. We had a lot of interest in this conference from many people who will be able to come and some who will not be able to come. Because of that, we are going to record all of the talks if the speakers uh, agree, uh, of course, for their talk to be recorded. If they provide their consent, then we are going to upload, uh, upload, uh, upload the presentation to YouTube. Uh, so for the speakers, I'm going to ask all of you to give your presentations to the AV uh, person at the back uh, before, in, in the break before your talk and also to, uh, to indicate on in the consent form whether you're willing to allow your presentation to be uploaded on YouTube or not. Um, other logistics, um, we, have, um, uh, we have a couple of talks, first by Harris Inspect and Ed Emot on designing uh, single cell experiments and uh, the protocol of uh, Harrison is going to talk about some more general considerations of how do you design an experiment that you can um, 
evaluate rigorously whether it has succeeded or not. And if the experiment has failed, how do you figure out specifically, how do you diagnose specifically what failed so that you know how to do it better? And then uh, Ed Emot, a postdoctoral fellow in my group, is going to tell you how we make our samples. And these talks are going to be very nuts and bolts. I would encourage you to ask Harrison and Ed questions for anything that is unclear and to engage them in a discussion.